So I wanted to take a few minutes of your time to tell you about a new book that's come out recently called The Topology Workbook, Volume 1, by Pushing Points. And the author is uh, William Vaughn, who you probably know from his video series or his various moto kits and all that sort of stuff. He, uh, he's a knowledgeable guy, and this book shows it. So in the interest of being open, uh, I do want to disclaim that I did receive an early copy of this book from William, but that in no way affects my opinion of it. Now there are those who would say that looks don't matter all that much, but when it comes to a workbook or a lesson that you're trying to stay engaged with, my personal feeling is that the nicer it looks, the more likely I am to stay engaged. Maybe it's the artist part of my brain, maybe it's because I'm shallow. I don't know what it is, but regardless of my own personal failings, the book is gorgeous. From the renderings to the typography to the layout of the pages, it just explodes with style and it really, you know, that to me is a huge part of learning, is keeping the, the reader or the viewer engaged. So if the thing that they're trying to learn from looks good, that's going to give them a little extra push to stick with it, and this book has that in spades. So that's enough about what it looks like. What's in the book? Well, the book is a well, it's a workbook on topology, just like it says on the cover. Uh, William walks you through, you know, the beginning foundational work of what an end gun is and that kind of stuff. But stay with it, right? Then he moves along to edges and uh, onto edge flow, then onto uh, beveling. And along the way, uh, each chapter is broken up into a specific topic. And at the end of each topic, there are exercises to try once he's done explaining the problems and uh, you know, potential solutions. But these exercises are very important. So as you're making your way through the book, this guy will either be your best friend or your worst enemy, depending on how your brain works. For me personally, when it comes to learning things, and this goes all the way back to my Commodore 64 days when I was at, uh, trying to learn to code assembler, uh, if I read something you know, and then move on, that will stick a little bit, uh, but I'll probably have to come back and review it later, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, but if I read it and then I stop and then I do it or try to put it into practice right then, that gives it a far greater chance of sticking in my brain. And that is the structure of the book. So I would recommend you take your time with the book. This is not a book that you blow through from cover to cover. You, in fact, I would recommend taking on maybe you know, a chapter a day. You know, read the chapter, uh, read the problems presented, read about the topic, and do the exercises. And then stop, sleep on it. You know, let that seal seal itself into your mind. Then the next day, hit the next chapter. You know, it won't take you but a week to get through the entire thing and you'll get much more benefit out of it than just sitting and reading it cover to cover. And the book doesn't stop there. Uh, once you're done reading through it, there's a reference gallery in the back of different types of topology you know, that gives a name to all the various uh, configurations of things you might be trying to, you know, to work with. So that can be handy. Uh, also, William's been releasing uh, a DLC, I guess we'll call it, or, uh, or add-on content. He's up to... Uh, at the eighth installment now, I think. He's adding exercises, he's adding sample models, GIFs that explain different concepts. It's, it's a well-supported book. And uh, he's really standing behind it, so it's well worth your time to take a look. So that's the long and the short of it. Uh, whether you're a beginner or an experienced artist, or you're just interested in topology, and I suspect you are, uh, if you're watching my channel, go pick this book up. Uh, the link will be down in my description. And yeah, thanks for watching.